I started flying uh, helicopters when I was a kid. Uh, my dad was, uh, was a pilot for a long time. And he had me up fiddling around with the controls as a kid, so I sort of caught the bug early. I like most the freedom about flying. I think private aviation just in, in general, just not having to wait on an airport or go through a TSA or go through security. Just walk to the you know deal and do it yourself. I like anything that involves the ocean, whether it's, it's diving or fishing or spear fishing, or surfing or um, any water activity. Um, I just love the ocean. I shot over 100 pound bluefin tuna this year. Well, you know, fishing stories, right? They keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Any crazy adventures in the United States? Yeah, I've had several. I've been down the Colorado River, uh, whitewater rafting. I've uh, open ocean stand-up paddled down the Big Sur coastline. I've been bow hunting in Idaho. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. There's something about, even though I love the warm weather, there's something about the Pacific Northwest. Just the drastic beauty of it, the, the pine trees, the, the amount of oxygen that's in the air. In the Oregon coast, even in the, in the Northern California coast, you get up to Lake Tahoe or anywhere in the Sierra Nevadas. The John Muir Trail is a pretty special place. If you ever get a chance to hike it, I would recommend it. A role I'm dying to play. I, I don't know. Look, I look up to um, to the old movie stars, um, the Clint Eastwoods, the Bruce Willis's, Mel Gibson's. Uh, I, I look up to guys like that, the Denzel Washingtons, and I, I look at uh, their body of work, and a lot of it really excites me. That, that those are the reasons I got into making movies because I wanted to play characters like they did and make movies like they did. Every film is an experience. Every, every film is, is a life experience um, for an actor. You know, being, being on a film set, you, you get to travel to uh, sometimes a different place you've never been to before. You get to meet a whole group of people. You get to experience culture. You get to you know, band together to, to make something, to create art. Uh, I, I don't know if I could put, if I could rank them. They're, they're all great life experiences. Working on green screens always, it's a stretch. You, you have to be more maybe in touch with your emotions sometimes. You have to be more you're in touch with your imagination, I should say. Whereas if you're on a, a practical set, you, you might have more to draw from because stuff might be happening around you. Stuff might be exploding or, you know, um, extras might be, you know, walking into you or you have to deal with the environment. Whereas uh, when you're working on a green screen, you have to imagine the environment. 